So my intent was to start the magazine today, but I'm pretty good at procrastinating. A couple of chores into town, go to the gym, make that bird table, which is going to be a bird house eventually. I'll put a roof on it later. Game of Thrones is starting now, so I've got to go do that. And it was a beautiful day outside, so, you know, no competition. This magazine will start hopefully tomorrow. No guarantees. Anyway, go and watch Game of Thrones now. We had this magnolia out the front of the house. It was a very attractive little bush at first, but then it grew into a tree. It was too close to the house, so it just had to come out. But rather than pull it out altogether from the roots, we decided it would make a nice little post to put a bird feeder on. But to stop it growing back, we uh, first drilled some holes in the base and put some Epsom salts into it. That should hopefully stop it uh, growing back again. And once that was done, then it was time to crack on and make the bird table. So going to my scrap wood pile, I found this piece of um, pine, chop that in half. Uh, but the, this piece of board was too wide for my drop saw, so I um, had to spin it around and do two cuts to get, to get through it. But that worked fine. And rather than sit the bird table on top of the stump, I thought I would uh, make a hole in the middle and have it lower down the uh, trunk and use the top of the trunk then to carry the roof that I'll build later on. My cheap little Ozito bandsaw was handy enough for this kind of thing. Cut two matching holes in the center of the boards. This bandsaw is not much good for anything heavier than this piece of wood. It's a cheapie, but it works for little tinkering bits like this. So that's the concept there. I two uh, matching holes in the wood to put those two things together. I don't have any plans for this um, bird table, I'm just making this up as I go along. So with those two slots in the bottom pine, I thought that would be uh, a convenient way of clamping the two pieces of board together. This miter saw is another GP I bought at Bunnings, but it's handy enough. That kind of uh, framework underneath will hold it together. So here I'm using the bandsaw again to cut down these two pieces of wood because uh, they sat proud because they don't have a slot to go into. So then I glued it up and this glue actually um, grabs and holds pretty quick.
but then I put some nails in from the top as well just to hold it in place I made this uh, very simple jig to drill some holes into two pieces of pine so that I could put some uh, two dowels to keep it together a very simple jig but you just have to be a bit careful to get it lined up the same on both sides of the joint and that worked pretty good So now I'm also gonna put in some slots here and put a bit of two by one to give it a nice um, square base to go on to. length bolt which was actually part of a bed assembly uh, this wood that I'm using is actually uh, some pallets that I found at a factory that were you know they had a sign at the front free pallets so I grabbed a couple it's uh, pretty rough but it'll work well for this I think clamps to hold it together while I get some screws into it. It's not perfectly level but it's good enough. The birds they won't mind. And in the end I was really quite happy with how firm it was. come back another day and put a roof over the top of that and then I rounded off the uh, sharp edges with a rasp because sure as eggs little uh, grandkids will be hanging around this thing and that's about it